Time since the last time we spoke, so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah. Just, I got a lot to cover. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's changed. First, just you know, talk about this <clears> event <throat> and what it means to you every year to have this and also to have Chuck. I'm not sure exactly what the numbers are, but I think we've raised over you know one and a half million dollars for Tigers Unlimited and, and Auburn Athletics, which has really been. Uh, it's been great for us because it, it takes care of a lot of things that aren't necessarily budgeted, like our foreign trips and, and some things in travel and stuff like that, helping us, you know, to be able to really compete and take on the kind of schedule that we're taking on. Um, going to Maui, for example, is a, it's a, an enormous undertaking and a great expense. Events like this help us uh, uh, be able to stay within budget. Um, and now we've transitioned Bruce Barkley basketball to becoming an NIL event. And so for the first year, for the first time, this will be to be able to help our student athletes, which I think is, uh, is great. Our student athletes were at the event last night and uh, some of them spoke and all of them greeted. And um, I think our, our donors got a chance to see just how much, what kind of impact it's having on them personally and on their families, how they're able to help their father with his business and purchasing a piece of equipment or um, maybe their mom being able to buy a a pocketbook she could never have afforded before, but something that she's always wanted, or just tithing, um, <clears throat> giving back to the church, or, or or all the guys are recognizing that they're, you know, with their income, they they've got to be taxed on it, but also they need to protect their income in some ways by donating some of it and understanding that concept, and and I think it's been a great 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 life lessons, and more than anything, I think you saw and heard from our guys of just how much they appreciate. The Auburn family and the support that they receive, sellout crowds, traveling with us on the road, and, and obviously the other. You, you talking about NIL, you talked recently about just the challenges, especially in this conference and, and what you guys are up against. Can you just talk a little bit more about that and just what the, you know, what the, what the competition is yeah. like now with all, all these schools taking the basketball I mean, look, everybody, everybody, everybody wants to win, and um, you know, it's uh, it, right now it's it's a free market, and 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 so therefore the the, the haves have a have an opportunity to to be able to do more in their rosters and than uh, the people that aren't quite as big and so that's that that's that's been our obviously our great challenge and particularly next year when I've got to replace 10, 10 seniors. BP uh, Charles talked about when he was a player here how much it meant to him just to, to finally get Auburn to the NCAA tournament right. his senior his last last year and how you have since elevated the program and there's some good highs in between there too but just dance after school. Uh, um, you just have him as, as your as an influencer, the influencer for your program, and what he's meant. Well, there's there's not a more influential person in the world of basketball than Charles Barkley. What he has accomplished as a player, <clears throat> what he's accomplished as a person, um, professionally, um, philanthropically. Kind of role model that he is like I, I think it's just the greatest commercial in the world i'm not paid to be a role model and yet he's about as good a role model <clears throat> as there is with just how generous he is with his time his treasure his talent so you talk about you know somebody that sort of represents and embraces being an auburn man and representing the auburn family so absolutely when we are selling the dream about playing in auburn um we're selling you got a chance to play at a place where Charles Barkley got started and gives a great deal of credit to for helping him overcome the challenges of a young young man from a small town. And uh, he's, he's a great he's a, he's a great American story. First, like you said, we talked to you a few days ago, but a couple of days into practice, yeah. what some of your early impressions from seeing him on the court? I think the offense uh, is behind the defense. Um, I think that... Um, we're either really good defensively or, or we're really bad offensively, and I couldn't even tell you which one it is right now. I, I don't want to give our defense all that much credit, um, but the defense is ahead of the offense. Um, I think um, getting the uh, uh, getting the guys to understand that timing and execution, spacing, um, is is really important in, 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 in what we do. And uh, there's a tendency to not pay such close attention to detail, especially when you begin to expand your playbook to get ready to play. And so 
we got a lot of we have a lot of tightening up to do. You said last week that there's still a lot you don't know about this team. What do you most want to see and learn about them over the next month or so? I, man, it'd be great if we could see you know some consistency of performance. It's been a little bit like the Dow Jones. It's been a little bit up and down, and and my trying to find out who's going to start at point guard, like, you yeah. know, who's going to start at two, three. I mean, literally, I think the only position that I would say where you know where, where it's been established is, is, is most likely Janai Boone at five, and we're, we're 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 at the beginning of October, and literally there are four spots that are wide open. Okay. You, you just want, are you, Talk about Cheney last week and yeah. just how his teams have been winning a lot. How yep. much did you see kind of the end of last season for him? How much he's been able to kind of use that momentum into, into this offseason? Yeah, I mean, Cheney, Cheney is he is one of our hardest workers or might be our hardest worker. Um, and and so he, he he's putting a tremendous amount of time and dedication and discipline. That has helped his confidence um, to do more. And yet I actually want him to be even more aggressive than he's being. He, he, he's that good at both ends of the floor. And got to continue to have his motor run and continue to be really, really physical and use his athleticism. He's extremely athletic. I got to get him to, I got to get him use that athleticism and become more of a dominant offensive and defensive player. He's capable. Off the record? Yeah. 